Gli farò un'offerta che non può rifiutare. Ever wondered what some iconic movie and TV quotes would sound like in Italian? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of clips that were dubbed for the Italian audience. Full disclosure, I'm a movie buff, I'm an actor, and I hate dubbing, I hate it. I'm sorry to break it to you, but it makes no sense. Honestly, I stopped watching dub movies many years ago. And the thing is, if you ask me, i mean, a dumb movie makes as much sense as taking a shower with a raincoat. Sorry. Grande job. I remember once I was offered to translate the dialogues of an American movie and I went to the dubbing studio and man, I was shocked what happened there. They almost kicked me out actually and that was it for me. Never again. Anyway, there's quite a surprise if you stick with me until the end of this video. I'm pretty sure you don't expect this. Stay tuned. Ciao a tutti! This is Luca once again and welcome back to channel Dolce Vita. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell. If your goal is to learn Italian, don't forget to check the description down below. I put some links for learning material, including some free downloads. Now, despite my feelings about dubbing, I know you guys are interested in the Italian language, so I thought it would be fun, it wouldn't hurt, to watch some of the following material. In many cases, the Italian dubbing can get so cheesy, like this one, Rocky IV. I must break you. So, the line here is delivered with a very, very strong Russian accent, which makes sense since the character is from Russia. Okay, the problem is that they deliberately changed the word spezzo, which means break, into spiezzo. Spiezzo doesn't even exist. They just wanted to make it sound more Russian, but the result is absolutely ridiculous. It's so phony. I know! The thing is, in my country, watching dub movies is absolutely normal and people couldn't care less of how much gets lost in translation, let alone if something sounds cheesy. Here's one of my favorite TV shows ever, Friends. You'll love it too, it's just awesome. Now, when I watched it for the first time, I lived in England, I watched it in English and years later, when I moved back to Italy, I just, you know, out of curiosity, I wanted to see what it would sound like. So I watched it dubbed in Italian. I was hurt, like physically and emotionally. How you doing? <laughs> hey, come to that. No, 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 you, you can't change such a line. You cannot change perfection. And what about this one? <laughs> We were on the break! <laughs> <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it? Okay, okay, I know, I've been quite harsh so far. It doesn't always have to be that bad. Like Eric Draven from The Crow would say, it Can't rain all the time. Non può piovere per sempre. Here are some iconic lines that don't actually sound too bad. Houston, we have a problem. Houston, abbiamo un problema. Wax on, wax off. Dai la cera, togli la cera. Precious! And here's a couple lines that don't sound bad at all in Italian. Maybe even bad. Okay, no, sorry, I didn't say that. Shh, don't tell anybody. It can't work! Hey you, get your damn hands off. Hey tu porco leva le mani di dosso. Next one has two Italian words in the original version. Chianti and fava. Did you guess already? I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice chianti. Mi mangia il suo fegato con un bel piatto di fave e un buon chianti. Not bad at all. I actually really like the guy's voice. 
Okay, okay, now don't get carried away. I don't want you to say, hey, Luca, I actually like the Italian version even better than the original. You know, I will react just this way. You talking to me? You talking to me? Ma dici a me? Ma dici a me? All right, guys, before I show you the last clip, I promised you a surprise. And here it is. Now let's see if you can recognize the Italian actor in the next movie. Una volta uscito dalla stanza cosa hai visto? Mia madre era lì e quell'uomo la spingeva al muro. Qui. Quindi ti ha visto mentre era qui. E cosa ha fatto dopo? Sono scappata, non ha fatto in tempo a fare niente. Quindi l'uomo era qui e tu sei riuscita a scappare. È quello che ho detto. Può venire? Passami a fianco. It's funny because they usually cast me either as the cop or the bad guy. In this last video clip, I'm going to leave you with Arnold Schwarzenegger, or as we say in Italian, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, before I, I show you that, I would like to know your feelings about dubbing. Do you have dubbing in your country? Is it normal? Is it any good? How do you personally feel about that? Let me know in the comments down below and also if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the thumbs up button and perhaps share the video on social networks. See you very soon. Ciao! I'll be back. Aspetto fuori.